If you have a Chinese fiber laser and you found that the red light prediction does not tell you exactly where you're going to mark, maybe it's a little left, right, up, or down of the actual mark, you can shift that and it's easy to do and I'll show you how. Open EasyCAD and just make a rectangle or we'll make it a square. So I'm going to say 15 by 15 millimeters. And we're going to send that right to the origin. So that should be roughly at the center of our laser's field of marking. And then what we're going to do is light it. And let's assume it marks right there. So we'll mark that once. So there you can see we made a little box. And this is just an outline of the box. No hatching or anything like that. And I better do that a little bit deeper. I'm going to put it on continuous and mark it again. Okay, let's go with that. All right, so I can see that marking. That looks pretty clear. And I'm going to turn the red light back on. And you can kind of put your finger over it. And you can, it's hard to see, but if I take the camera, you can sort of see it where that red light leads into the actual marking. And you can see if you're off in Y, if the direction is a little bit off of the line, and you can do the same in X. And mine's actually pretty good. I probably wouldn't change that. If you did want to change that, let's go to this parameters button at the bottom of the screen. What we want to do is go to the other tab at the top and we want to click on this red light pointer button. You can see that there's an offset for the X and an offset for the Y. If you wanted to bring it left a little bit, you would just say negative whatever distance you wanted. And just play with it until you get it to where you want it to be and just for fun, let's see if we can mark, let's say, two millimeters to the right of where we just marked. So I'll say OK. Let's say OK. Let's put the red light down, and you can see where that's predicting. So that's actually quite a bit to the right of where we actually just marked. And I'm going to press Mark again. And we'll stop that. And you can see it pretty much just traced the line we already made, which is good. But that doesn't help if you were already in this red light position that doesn't coincide with the actual marking. So if I were set up like that, I would just go into the other tab, red light pointer, and I'd say, oh, okay, that's what's wrong. It's two millimeters to the right. Yours may say zero, yours may be adjusted, but in my case, I just wanted to say zero. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So I should be able to go back and I should be able to light it. And we're right back on our actual marking. And our mark should be right over top of that. That looks pretty good. So I know that wasn't super difficult to find, but if you're approaching it for the first time or you just got your laser and you don't know where that setting is, now you do.